G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days where I'm back in Alpha 21 to build a horde base that I thought of the other day that I think is well overdue. I think one of our best friends in 7 Days has been overlooked for way too long and that is Sammy the Sledgy Turret. Really good, really fun and actually very helpful in a lot of ways but I reckon Sammy's got some superpowers that we're not taking advantage of just yet. So obviously you know, it's pretty simple to get yourself a sledgehammer turret and chuck them on the side of a walkway like this. Zombies show up, they get boobed on the stroop by Sammy Boy and down they go to start again. But I think that ragdoll ability, for Sammy to consistently, like 100% of the time, ragdoll a zombie is really valuable because you're getting zombies that are going goopy and following a different trajectory than they would do if they still had their feet on the ground. So I reckon if I can combine Sammy the sledge uh, sledgy turret with some creative building and potentially some electronical traps as well. We might be able to turn a pretty simple horde base into something really ridiculously OP. At least that's the dream. I don't really know what I'm going to call this thing yet. I'm going to let future Josh editorialize and come up with his own name for it. But I'm kind of harking back to like Alpha 17, I think is the last one. <laughs> It's a long time ago now. Uh, the shredder bases. You know, you bring your zombies up high, you send them into a pit, and you shred them into dices, into chunks, into goo, all the way down with a bunch of blade traps. You can't really do it so much anymore because the zombie AI has changed so much in that time that these days it's hard to get them to do that kind of stuff consistently in a replicable and not suicidal manner but i reckon with the help of our best friend i reckon we can do it i'm gonna change it up a little bit which i know is scary but uh capo posted a thing that someone sent him on twitter the other day pointing out my affinity for pyramid stairs and i feel really called out by that i feel i feel personally attacked in a completely justifiable and predictable way so i'm going to overreact as i often do and instead change everything about myself uh, what do I need? I don't even know what blo blocks are going to be called anymore. I want just like a nice hollow ramp. Basically. Like a ramp, but without all the extra body underneath it. Just a nice sheet to take us up to another level. Like that. Ramp sheets. That might be a little bit too steep, but actually, how do you look? Like you. And I can't stack anything underneath it. Oh, this is... No, I'm committed now. I'm committed now. We're doing it. Here we go. I reckon you're the perfect one. Plate wedge 60 inclines. You're not especially steep, but you should be doable. Do you have like a, a match that goes with you? Something to pair up to make a nice, easy transition? It's going to be a heckin' long bloody ramp, but it's going to work out for me on the other end of it. At least I bloody hope so. Incline is like the name of the seven days uses for all these blocks that have a hollow backing on them. But I've got the wedge 60 incline ramp incline i need i need like that but on the other side of the block is that does that exist like you but without the side piece surely surely somewhere because like ah, oh, it's actually not like that at all like this like the thinner one it's got to be in here somewhere i found the block i was looking for it's the plate uh, wedge 60 tip i just had to search for the tip all i wanted was the tip and that's what i got nice that looks pretty bloody lovely nice and smooth and easy to transition through Hopefully the zombies think so as well. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> building all this for nothing, but I'm not going back now. Never going back. I mean, you can take the boy out of the pyramid stairs, but you can't take the pyramid stairs out of the boy. Always going to have the pyramids. Always going to make sure that there's no little zombie catches anywhere that they're going to get stuck up on and get real pissy about. All right, there we go. We have our first access ramp all the way up to them. Need to just build the rest of the supports for you. I just want to get them up high enough that I can control the path and they come up and drop them down. So the ones that don't necessarily get bonked will also go back and re uh, reset their path. But Sammy's going to sit at the top of this whole route, have his day with all the zombies, and one by one, shred him to pieces. I mean, look, if I'm sending these zombies to their deaths to get shredded into all sorts of various chunks of meat, at least I can do is give them a nice safe route up to the tippy top for them. OHS is important at all times. You can go... In fact, is there like a nice little end piece there? You will be like that one. Like you in like that, and you're on the wrong side. You in like that. There you go. Don't want any zombies falling off and shattering their ankles. Gotta put the railings in for them. It's the least I can do. So I really want the shredding part where the where Sammy the Sledge gonna bonk zombies off the railings up here into the shredder. Well, that's to be in the middle of this little circuit they're running. So I reckon. 
Uh, I reckon I've got to put this like flat along there. So Sammy's got somewhere to bonk him off to. But also, I need to put myself somewhere that's far enough away that when they do fall down, they don't go into destroying everything. Which, by the way, is 11 blocks away. I believe only horizontally because uh, the game calculates by chunks, which is like just a... Um, what is it? I think it's like 28 by 28, like a square. Be like, probably 11, actually, given it's 11 blocks. But uh, vertically, I don't think it makes any difference. I think it's only horizontally. So if I build a little platform out here and a platform for me to stand far enough away, I can watch the burger factory go along. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Then I'm just going to need something narrow. Something narrow from to run along. Let's actually go... I like the 0.05 pillars. Pillar. Not you. Uh, 0.05 middle. So they will actually path along it. They won't path along the ones on the side. Only the middled. You can go along like that. Nice. I can put a little, like, little cradle over here for Sammy. And he can have his day. I'm actually going to use these same... Uh, what, are they, what are they called again? The the plate 60 wedge tips. I'm going to use those here as well to give Sammy not only... Well, actually... A nice place to sit. I'm going to put you so that you're on the underside. So you're kind of aiming up at the zombies to get a bit more hang time. To get a little bit more reach. Go like you. Go like you. That looks pretty smack dab in the middle. How many? You're like one, two, three across there. One, two, three across there. Symmetricality is peaking. Nice. Sammy, come in. You've got no mods in you. I have no points into, uh, into robotics either. But right in the middle. Just like that. Perfect. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes with just like an Arlene or something just to start off with. Couple of Arlene ferals. Come this way, please. Look at that. Nice, easy pathing all the way around. Go, Sammy. All right, so you got one out of five. Wasn't expecting much more than that. And you didn't quite get that much hang time. Maybe going, maybe going five of them was a bad idea. I want to see where the zombies go and where the zombie lands. He just doesn't really react that fast, does he? Where are you ending up? Show me. So you're kind of just going... You're kind of just getting your legs taken. They're getting swept off your feet by some of the robot. I can't really say that I blame you. Look at the size of the appendage he's got on him. Ali is definitely going to fall for that. So you're ending up over here. Which means potentially... Instead of building it in the middle over here, maybe I build like an extension on the side of the pillar here. It'll add some extra support, but also should be able to catch any zombies on their way down interesting interesting i'll think about this i'll figure out the best way to do it i was trying to think of ways to potentially make the zombies lives a bit harder and to kind of like thin the herd spread them out a little bit more even stuff just like you know hurdles and things stuff we've done before but i don't think that's super duper necessary if i mean if most of them are running through here and falling anyway i don't want to clog up the meat chute with too many arlenes in the first place i reckon that one's going to be fine just show me where Show me where you guys are going to land. And it's like, push you off the edge. Catch you later, sunshine. Up the ramp you come. So you're getting bonked earlier than where you were before. Where are you going to land? That is actually, you know what? You know what? That's actually gone. Smack dab in the middle of where I wanted you to. You're falling. Oh, okay. I'm making myself join leg. Sorry about that. But, oh, you went a different way. But I said I wanted her to end up right in the middle of this whole contraption. That's where the first one's gone. The second one, less so, but promising signs at least. I've got a little carried away with construction and built myself a little pedestal over here to stand on and watch the carnage. But unfortunately, I'm too far away from Sammy to turn him on. Not the first time I've had this problem in my life, but you know what? At least this time I have a remedy. Spend some points into intellect. All the way, well, as far as I really need to suppose, level five, robotics inventor. That should give me increased uh, robotic range from 10 to 40 meters. Nice. You, you. Might have we go another one. Might have we go another one. Why not? Up to seven. Robotics. Grab that one. So 9% faster fire rate as well, which is always good. More robot uh, more robots. I read robots are confused. More zombies into the grinder. And 16 meters means you are still not rocking and rolling. I mean, I'm I'm like 13 meters away. Oh, you're right on the cusp. You're right on the cusp. I knew we were built far enough away that they won't go to destroy everything, but they fall off over there. You can see that there to nudge them off, but. In fact, you know what? You know what? I can make this better. Just got my little crow's nest up there, but I'll get back to that in a second because that's not the important part. You are the important part. 
Now, what I wanted to do, because you've got these new blocks, right? At least new since the last time I built a shredder. You've got these duct blocks, which if I'm goopifying zombies regularly, that's why the that's why the sledgehammer turret is so good. It always goopifies zombies 100% ragdoll rate. So if I can get an air duct and I can build some sort of chute down into blade traps, I can get Sammy to lock me into the chute, they fall down like they're in Home Alone 2 and come out the bottom with a brick in their face. All right. All right, well, let's get you facing the right way up, please, like that. And we'll start figuring out where you're going to go. I reckon for the very tippy top, though, because, like, look, the chances of Sammy Boy hitting that is no Steph Curry. I don't think he's going to make that pill every time I ask him to. So I'm going to get some inclines, especially something like this. Something with, like, a narrow but, like, steep opening will probably be pretty handy for me. I'm just going to find the right one. Mm, not real like you. What do you look like, actually? How are you? Kind of like that, but much, much thinner. Is there even an option there? There's surely, there's got to be. Hang on, it'd be the same as this stuff, actually. You, give me that one. Copy shape. And then advanced rotation, get you upside down. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Like, like that, but on the corner. It's actually turned out pretty good in the end. I wanted something a bit more like rounded and octagonal, but turns out this is the smoothest way I could get it done. I'm really hoping that's where the zombies are going to land. I want to quickly give that a burl. You give me just a couple of Arlene's. Sure, why not? Guess you running in my general direction. No, go back. Yeah, there you go. Back the other way. Back up the ramps if you wouldn't mind. Like a production line of death. Although from here, I can't really see him going in the chutes. Missed it. Missed it. All right, you're zero from two, something, but you can try again. I'm far enough away that none of you lot should go into destroy area mode. You will not. Nice. So it's now a good and honest to goodness <laughs> AFK base. Sammy. Sammy, you're not you're not helping me there, champion. You, you gotta, you're you got supposed to be going for the goal. I really wish, I wish there was a way, and I, I reckon the sledge does it. It's like, instead of having, like, the rotating motion of it, just be able to, like, have, like, a firing mode of, like, just face this way, someone goes in front, bonk the shit out of them, because at the moment, I mean, you're doing a great job of murderizing, but not a great job of getting it in the hole. <laughs> Maybe well, my robot. Well, you know what? Desperate times, desperate measures, and all that. I'm going to chuck in a little, like, barricade wall over here to stop some of you going the wrong way. Here's five more juicy aliens. We can gobble up like a T-Rex gobbles a goat. Up you come. Up you come. And boop. Missed it. Missed it. You're not super helping me there, Sammy. I reckon... I reckon I need some sort of, like... Maybe one of the hurdles then. A little hurdle or something just here so that... Jeez, they're going absolutely sailing as well. Oh, no! Oh, she got a noggin caught up. Always decapitated the lass. But I can keep him right, right here where I want him. So we can look around, bonk my direction every time. And really just save myself a lot of heartache. All right, I've got this little hurdle here. It's not much. And then the drop off on the other side. Let's give that a go soon. Five Arlene's. In fact, let's go, let's go bold. Go big or go home. Let's get tenors. Tenors coming up. Oh, you almost hit it on the first crack. Oh, it's closer. Oh my god, that wasn't though. I think all the other Arlene's are just kind of getting in the way. Oh, missed it. You're getting close. There's something you got the three by three to aim for. And you're doing diddly squat. Oh, you're going way too hard. Jeez, who fed you Vegemite this morning there, champion? Just one. Up, oh, up. Oh. Well, I got I got two. I got almost three, but it's now not steep enough for them to fall down inside of it. Damn it! All right, I've changed tack just that little bit. I wasn't having good luck getting them to like kind of flop into the chute, so instead I'm going to force them into the chute. If I have to make this a bit more angled, then I will, but I just want to see how this goes first. It's a nice big open gap. I'll chuck Sammy up onto here somewhere like that. That'll be perfect. You come here and bonk you down just like that. I mean, it's still a bit low, actually. It might be a little bit low. We'll see how it goes, though. I can stand over here. You... Please come up my big giant ramp over here and play with my toy all the way up so you can get bonked. How are you, Arles? In. I mean, kind of. Close. You're back to where you started the game. You didn't quite go in the hole. I just don't think this is going to work super well at all. Even when I get the shot right and they do go towards... Come on, Sammy. There you go. Go towards the shoot. They still get stuck right there. So, right. That makes things a little bit... I mean, it doesn't more difficult, I suppose. I was probably over-engineering this. Thank you, everyone. Okay, instead of having a super cool air duct to take him down, 
I reckon. I'm going to go like this. Get rid of all of you. Sorry, everybody. And just build a giant shredding pit at the bottom instead. Not quite how I thought it would go, but still going to do the job. I was trying to make sure everything was symmetrical and put a little hole in the ground, but it just feels a little bit too small. And I don't think I'm taking full advantage of the uh, ragdoll mechanic that Sammy has. So I think I'm going to expand this to be... So the hole in the middle is three by three, which is the same size, actually, that the blade traps are. You... So I can just have a whole stack of blade traps all the way down the inside. If you want to go the actual other way for me, please. Yeah, like that. Like that. Imagine that, but all the way down. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Let's do that. Even if it's not quite symmetrical, it'll hurt me a bit, but this will hurt the zombies more. There we go. That's looking way more ominous. And more importantly, it means that Sammy is set up right in the middle of everything. Nice. Okay, perfect. So I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, can I? Holy shit, I can. <laughs> no way. I was so sure I wasn't going to be able to put blade traps in like that. Because I don't actually attach to anything. I thought like the central column had to be supported. But now nah, I guess not. I can just rinse this whole joint like a bloody garbage disposal in a sink for some reason. Rather than a bin. Not a thing in Australia, by the way. And I think that's heckin' bloody weird. I can just bring this whole thing up like a goddamn finger shredder. All the way down to the bottom. Crop rotation, all of that. All like you. Right, well, this has gone from 0 to 100 real quick. <laughs> oh my god, no one's coming out of there ever. I've got blade traps all the way from bedrock to the tippy bloody top up there, so that is ready to rock and roll. But all I need now is just a way for the zombies to get back out again. If they do manage to make it all the way down to the bottom, then huzzah for them. I suppose you can throw your glass against the wall after you sipped or stalled your vodka. But I said, to give you a little way for you to get out again. It's as simple as just giving them a ladder somewhere. Because I'm going to be all the way over here, they won't go into destroying everything mode. So if they do fall down to the bottom, they'll go out the door, come up a ladder and up to the top. Once again, taking their super ridiculous path fighting skills and turning it to my advantage and making sure that they don't do any undo damage down here. There you go. That's all it takes. That's all you need to get to reset. Just one big ass ladder. So zombies fall down here. Slice, slice, slice. Dice, dice, dice. All the way down to the bottom and then back up the ladder again. Back up to where they start. So all I need now is just Sammy Boy to do his job. And actually, because I, I have bought all the points in robotics... Two deployed robots can be active at once. So can I double team? Can I tag team the zombie horde with sledgy boys and send them down to the bottom? I mean, maybe I could, maybe I have one up there and one over here. Why not chuck one on the ramp too? As long as multiple zombies are going down into the pit, I don't really care how it happens. Give me a, no, no that's, come on fingers, another sledgy boy. Thank you. And I'll just whack you on the side. But I need to make sure... If I do have you like there, do you get turned on when I'm this far away from you? Nah, you're all sad and droopy. All right, no flaccidity here. Get in, get up, get turgid. I've given it all the old classic paint job with the big stone blocks and the red, uh, <laughs> the red death trap down the middle of it. I want to see how it goes. Ooh, what am I missing, actually? Oh, I'm, what I am missing is a way to stop the zombies getting through to me. You give me a couple of you, please. Gonna have to put you... On this side, right about, yeah, right about them. Just like that. Actually, that should be all fine and good. You might actually get stuck on that, so I might move you just a little bit across the other side. You, uh, copy shape and then copy rotation. Yeah, let's just go side by side. Side by side, why not? They can cuddle while they bonk zombies. All right, let's give this a little bit of a go and see what happens. You, bunch of Arlene's, get your attention, please. All right. How are you going to go? I just want to see if you go into the into the pit, having them wired it up. Yep, yeah, but over you come. Bonk. Down they go. The two that got bonked went immediately down. They'd have been sliced up by now. Perfect. Bloody perfect. All right, let's get some wiring going. I tell you what, one of the best additions to Alpha 21, there's been a lot of them, but hidden wires, when you put your wire tool away, no longer having to like try and run wires through blocks and stuff to hide it all, they now just disappear so you can run things as happy as anything. So bloody good. How you looking? Oh, that was a long way down, but I didn't break my leg, we're all fine. How are you looking? Oh no, there's, there's some. Some of the bottom, I, have, I haven't got the juice. Haven't got the juice to... Uh, they are wide. There you go. There's the wires going through. So that's where one battery bank full of tier sixes runs out with. 
Jeez, they're a real hunger on the power these days, aren't they? Alright, well, fair enough then. Can I... Actually, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? I've got a double little sod up here. You can have one. You can have the other. I'll just wire up another battery bank for the ones down below. Happy ads. There we go. Look at that. That is a death trap and a half. That's like a... That's like an express nitro zombie juicer. Only pulp and a couple of bits of... Actually, a lot of pulp and a lot of juice gonna come at the bottom of that. That is... That might be my favorite shredder. I might like this shredder more than the ones I made before, purely because it's not cheesy. Like, I'm not using cheese or exploits to make this happen. This is what the sledge was built to do. Feed the juicer all the zombies. And in fact, I could build like a wall or something here and a little like U-shaped catchment or something around that to really make sure every zombie goes straight down. I bet this will be fine. This will be fine. All right, you guys are running. I just want to get some Arlene's out here. A bunch of you, get you going. How you doing all of yous? I want to see you go down. <laughs> I'm weirdly excited. I'm like starting to get my saliva going. Drooling at the thought of this. Well, Arlene got tag teamed. All her dreams came true. She missed the hole. Oh, catch you later. Catch you later. How you doing? You all right? I think, I think she might be dead. I think she might be dead. I might also be dead. Can you not please want to fix up the little zombie chopper there? But look at this though. Taking the old P155. Over you come. <laughs> catch you later. You guys are too powerful. You're too powerful. You're sending them flying. You got to stop. You got to stop. I built this whole contraption for you and you're ignoring it. All right, I've made some adjustments. I've chucked down some plates over here so none of the zombies should make up to where I am anymore. But more importantly, I've put the sledges down so they're actually facing in that direction rather than just directly across, which means they shouldn't ever look over this plane. And even if they are, they will only see, uh, well, I guess like this direction. So it goes straight down into the hole there. So let's say you go with that one. Turn around. Negus setting it back the other way. Oh, there we go. Yes, couple more. One of them did make it through. No, thank you. There's got a little bit too swarmed up. So when they cluster up like that, it will fix up this little bit. But <laughs> that's so good. Straight down. Straight down through a sea of blades. You guys are almost too powerful. Maybe to put like a deflection block or something in here to catch the zombies and send them straight down again. In fact, I probably can do that. But a little bit of an addition there. That's... <laughs> That's so good. This is what Sammy was made for. This is the dream. This is what he's supposed to be doing. Look at that. Straight in. All right. I reckon that's going to work a whole lot better. Just chucked in a bit of a... Well, I can catch what I was talking about. Just some way to make sure that any zombies that do get booped off the side there go the way I want them to actually go. In fact, he probably even be just that little bit taller as well. Let's go like two up there. I don't want to put too much concrete down because it's heavy as shit and only really supported by two pillars over here. Nice and thin down there as well so the zombies don't get too many ideas and get themselves stuck on an edge or something. You can get a bit taller as well. So every single zombie that these Muppets boop goes into the shredder. Waste not, want not. All right, that'll do. That'll do. That looks way more menacing than before. I love it. Let's go a whole bunch of Arlene's. <laughs> Catch you later, everyone. I'll be over here if you need me. Nice. Okay. Please go straight up into the blender. How are you going to go this time around? No, oh, almost. There, let's see, look at that. See, that's why I wanted the ragdoll. Before, when they used to like, kind of fell into it, they'd often like catch on the top of the blades and be able to run away. But now, because they're all gooey, they hit the side and jump straight in. Catch not work the treats. I could watch this all day. This could be my screensaver. I could just watch this happen. Who even needs anything? I mean, none of the zombies are surviving have to come up the escape route anyway because the blade traps do a whole lot more damage in 21, so it's even more effective than before. But that is working like a peach in a pudding. Oh, it's... <laughs> All right, Spider Arlene. This is great. This is great. Look at them go. Down they go. Mince they go. I could sell mince Arlene pies for Christmas. I'm pretty happy with that, so I reckon I'm pretty good to go. Set the time to 2200, so the horde will come over. I've chucked some lanterns down so I can see how she goes. Just like that. That will do. Right about them. I've got to turn on the zombie brains. That's fine. That's fine. That copper might have a cheeky crack at me. I'm a bit exposed. This area here, I've done nothing with. It's mostly this that I'm actually concerned with. I'm just standing over there so the pathing works the way I want it soon. Over you come. Down goes a couple of them. Straight in. Catch. Oi. 
Not having it. Not having it. No vomiting kebabs. You swallow kebabs at four in the morning and they definitely don't come back up again because they are top notch post bevy snacks. Oh, that was some power on that one too. And down you go. I just want to see how long this goes for before someone comes back up that railing over there. I built them an escape, but they're not getting to it. They're just jellified at the bottom of the tube instead. I wonder a little bit just how long this would go for. There's a lot of blade traps in there and they're all kind of taking damage as the zombies were alive on the way down. So I figure like the top ones might burn out relatively quickly. Oh, that's a bad spot for Bo. There's going to fall off the side. Mm, yes. Okay, now we're fine. The zombie dropper still works just perfectly. Where is everyone? Oh, hang on a second. Oh, Arlene's going in. You can only, you can, there's like six boops, maybe, when they go to the blades, you can hear the slicing, and then it stops slicing when they're dead again, but what are you guys doing? Can you, can you not break my ramps, please? The ramps aren't as good. The ramps aren't as good as the, as the pyramid stairs. Boy, how I miss them, but they're up. It's fine. That's fine. Please go down. All the way down to the bottom of the hole. Come on, who's next? Who's next? Someone get in there. Oh, no, he's just dead. He's just dead. I just want to feed the blender. I didn't really want to, but they've definitely forced my hand. I put in some ramps on the side to make it a bit more feasible for the zombies with no more little zombie snares. That's right, gonna make it work. Oh, boss is going down. Catch you later, boss. Oh, there they all go. Sammy's doing great work. Love your work, Sammy boy. That top little blade trap's looking a little bit squirrely, a little bit all over the shop, but we'd be all right. Catch you later, copper. I really wish. The only way this could get better is if I could, like, direct the fire of the sledgehammers. Be like, just go this way. Don't waste all your shots going everywhere else. But the cat that seems to be doing a good enough job of it anyway. Down you go. Oh, you're definitely going down. Oh, catch your neck later. That's good, man. That's good. I like this is the kind of stuff that I love about Seven Days. Because, like, at the end of the game, when you've done everything else, you can build fuck-off contraptions like this and just enjoy the game for the vicious zombie murderizing goodness that it is. I just want to see this copper go down. That's not quite what I had in mind, but he's a big ball sack of bitch anyway, so he's gone. Both coppers are gone. In you go. Well, when you're spherical like that, turns out you end up in the cup of tea eventually. Perfect. I mean, I could move the, I, the sledges a bit more to the left. I didn't want to do that to stop giving the zombies a way around the dropper. But other than that, the zombies don't really make it to the dropper, though. The double sledgy goodness is really bloody OP. And I tell you what, for an intellect base, because it's blade traps and robots, for an intellect base, this could be OP. This could be the most OP that there is. It's just fun. It's just fun watching all of the carnage unfold before your eyes. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. It didn't quite go according to plan. I had to kind of reevaluate some things. I wish I could get like that, those air vents to work to push zombies through it and into the vents and down into the shredder. But this is fine. Just a slightly bigger version of it. And so far, nothing really has gone wrong. And if a copper goes down there, he's not going to pop because he's dead before he gets to the bottom. Still haven't seen any zombies climb the ladder. I assume so. I haven't really paid that much attention, but I haven't seen any of them survive yet. It's just they get knocked in, knocked out, and then shredded. So good. I could, I could watch this forever. I could watch this for bleeding ever. I'll have to come back and continue to stare at my brand new screensaver in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.